Hey, Brian from Garage Wall Hall. Today I have a car mountable fire extinguisher from August. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, pretty cool, nice and compact. So this is the box that it comes in. This one's sealed. I opened this one up so we could take a look at it. So a bunch of information in here. Spray time, it says around six seconds. So once it reaches its temperature, it will uh, discharge from and it does have a 3m piece of tape on it back here so you can mount it like in your engine compartment um, ideally on the body so you get a really good adhesion uh, but you may need to mount it to your battery depending on the location of everything but any I'm sure once they discharge is going to go all over the place so yeah pretty neat and it basically says um, discharge is about six seconds operation temperature uh, negative 58 degrees to 203 degrees so anything above that obviously is going to get close to being discharged shelf life is 10 years and type of fire is a b c and k um i'm not sure what those all are but if you're familiar with uh, that stuff you can look it up so um, hot start temperature it says it is 338 degrees fahrenheit uh, so basically, like, if you have a fire that gets pretty hot, you know. Um, I was really interested in learning about this just because uh, I had an engine fire uh, years ago in one of my vehicles. Uh, one of the fuel lines rusted, it ruptured, went on the engine, started a fire. I didn't have a fire extinguisher. I ended up losing the entire vehicle due to that. Um, however, something like this would have definitely have come in handy. I'm sure it would have helped uh, extinguish you know, to fire, or in the very least, kept it under control. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is um, I'll show you where you can like mount it, like on my pickup truck. I'll show you kind of some ideas where I'd probably mount this, and then I'm actually going to uh, start a fire in a, I guess it's like a fire ring outside, um, get it kind of up to temperature, flames going a little bit. And then I'm going to, uh, actually it's a, it's a fire pit, has kind of like a metal lid on it. I'm going to mount it to the metal lid. I'm going to put it over the fire as it's burning. And we'll, we'll basically see what happens and see how it performs. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so I zip tied it to the top of this wire rack just to make sure that it stayed on. I also have the adhesive, so let's put it on top and see what it does. Okay, so as you can tell, it basically broke free from the zip tie, and the, uh, it's still smoking a little bit, but the flames are definitely out. So, yeah, works pretty good. Right in front. All right, so a good place in your engine compartment to mount this. Um, some vehicles have fuse panels, so you can mount it like right on top of there. Battery is a good choice as well. Uh, you obviously don't want to mount it over your engine just because, you know, you get a lot of heat that comes off your engine. But definitely somewhere in your compartment, you can also have it mounted over here on your air intake. You can have that there. So anything. You saw about how much comes out. So it's a good area just to kind of like these cooler areas that are not going to be affected by the direct engine heat. So, um... Some people I've seen put panels up here to mount them. You a lot of these acoustic foam that you have on the inside of your hood is not a good place because it's not going to mount well. But anyway, so like on your air intake, on top of your battery, or on top of some of your fuse panels that you have available to you. But anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Hall, thanks for watching and be safe out there.